Hello! One of the really fun things I did this summer was I went and visited the studio of another uh, YouTuber, uh, Simon the Magpie. I believe I have mentioned him a few times uh, on this channel as well. We don't do the same kind of material at all, but we both uh, do music. Um, and he does he circuit bends he doesn't build his own stuff he does that too but in a different way uh, and so the and his channel and his he's built a whole community around him is all about creativity and and he and if you feel that you need a creative spark I can really recommend his channel and his community discord and stuff like that um, and so when I was there unfortunately uh, we were really uh, tight on time so we didn't have that much time to play together uh, we did however do a few fun things so on his channel he uh, Today or yesterday, he posted a video uh, of um, how he put contact mics on a piano and uses the um, the the feedback to uh, get tones out of the piano, and that was something that we just touched a bit on when we were there. Uh, the Hypothesis was that you could use a piano with piezos as a tuned reverb, uh, but because it wasn't, uh, because the feedback it became feedback loops quite quickly, um, it was it became something different. And what he did in this video that I, I link in the description, I really think you should go and listen to that because it turns out to be a really nice ambient piece that he and a friend of his uh, makes. Um, uh, and you see that the mixer, a common mixer board becomes uh, the instrument. And there's also another uh, magpie pirate uh, called Andrea Varga I believe uh, that also does this he only uses mixers as an instrument and nothing going into the mixer just the mixer and that just gives you an idea of these creative processes that that these people all around the world world have um, thinking a bit outside the box I would say. So anyway I wanted to show you a small snippet of when I was at the Magpie place uh, because we got this really nice uh, feedback loop in the piano going uh, that uh, I wish I could have had a better sounding but uh, and also you need to listen to their more refined uh, piece of, of music that they make with it. Uh, so with that said, let's go and look what we did there. What we do for science. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe explain a tiny bit. We have hooked up a piezo to some of the strings with just a magnet going into speaker, amp here. And he is, with his own Eurek module thingy he has built that is amplifying signal. We are trying to play pocket piano through that into piano strings and use the piano strings as a form of reverb. Tune reverb. What do you think? I think low. You get the... Um, if, if, if you listen, you get kind of a... You get a ringing tone behind in that tone. Yes, which is really nice. If we stop it, how do you stop it? 
Jag tror att det är tryck på var, vilken som helst. Som vi vill leva. Det är om man säger. Ja visst, så kan vi säkert bli ännu värre. Alltså det är ju vilken jävla sån här elektroakustiskt stycke som helst. out over how interesting the the piano makes the sound and the strings how they interact with each other with the piezo and the uh, microphone connected to the uh, to the strings uh, so yeah I wish we could have had a bit more time but that's how life is uh, so that's another thing um, if you that's, it's always good to have to meet other people with other it doesn't have to be in the same genre or in the same field just to ch share ideas makes if you need even more creativity uh, maybe you don't maybe you have enough uh, but if you do uh, there's always the possibility of other people that can just spark more creativity in you so uh that's it for this video uh take care bye